Our scriptures today bring together two women. In our first reading, we have Susanna. She was innocent. Two men tried to get her to sin, but she refused. And that angered those two men that they falsely accused her of adultery. She was brought before the court and condemned to die. And at the last minute, through the help of the prophet Daniel, she was found innocent. Her story, thank God, had a good ending. But whenever someone is accused of something they didn't do, it rarely ends well. Many times their lives are ruined. To take away someone's good name is second only to murder, since itself is a way of destroying someone. So I hope that none of us will ever be guilty of destroying someone's good name by lies and gossip, and by calumny and detraction. The second woman, we don't know her name. Some say it was Mary Magdalene, but there's no evidence for that. Well, anyway, this woman was guilty. And the self-righteous crowd dragged her to Jesus, hoping that Jesus would condemn her so that she would be stoned to death. But Jesus didn't condemn her. He told her to sin no more. Oh, he didn't rant and rave. He didn't yell and scream. Jesus cared for this woman and had mercy for her. Now, compare the way Jesus treated her with the way the crowd wanted to deal with her. They wanted to humiliate her and to kill her. And that's not a Christian way to deal with anybody. No Christian should ever throw stones of any kind because all of us are guilty of sin and we are all in need of God's mercy. So today, let's learn those two lessons from our scriptures. Let's never try to destroy somebody by gossip and lies. And let's never deal with anybody in a self-righteous, violent way. But rather, let's treat everybody with the same way that God treats us, with mercy and respect. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a merciful Monday.